So there are plenty of good Android rooms out there and almost all of them are really good for daily driver. But if you are really into mobile gaming, especially PUBG, then I highly recommend install Chorus OS. And in this video, I will explain why this room is best for gaming. So let's begin. Chorus OS is the best room when it comes to gaming, thanks to its pre installed custom kernel called Hydra Plus. That not only give you outstanding gaming performance, but overall good experience with long lasting battery life. So this combo of Chorus OS and this custom kernel Hydra Plus is on another level. You get dedicated FPS meter in your quick setting. So this is given to you so you can check your FPS while playing any game. Normally in other Android rooms or even in stock Android, you will need to install any third party app for that. But because this is a dedicated gaming room, you get it in quick setting. So with Chorus OS, you get maximum FPS in PUBG. I got 59 plus FPS on my Redmi Note 7 Pro before I used to get 29 log FPS. So the gameplay is now snappy, the touch responsive is faster, overall it will improve your gaming. And as I said, you can play it for hours and your phone will not overheat. Also, I didn't face any random reboot while playing PUBG. All this smoothness is because of that custom kernel Hydra Plus. If you wish, you can install any other custom kernel over the top of Chorus OS. But I wouldn't recommend that. I don't know what they did in this custom room. But in this room, the PUBG gameplay is really something else. I can't explain in the video, you will have to play it yourself to fully understand what kind of experience you get in PUBG with Chorus OS. And thanks to its custom kernel Hydra Plus, my phone never lagged even if I play PUBG for hours. With Chorus OS, your phone maintains certain temperature and doesn't become too hot while playing PUBG. Also in Chorus OS, you get this perfect screen recorder that not only record your system audio, but your mic audio too. Now this app is completely smooth and even if you record your gameplay for hours, it won't lag or it won't force stop. So you can trust this and you don't need to install any third party screen record app for this. And then you get this notification customization. Just go to setting and here you will find all the settings you will require. You can disable or enable any kind of notification in your phone which might interrupt in your gaming. You can disable your heads of notification, you can disable or enable your edge lighting. Now this edge lighting feature is really good. And then there is a dedicated gaming mode. When gaming mode is on, your all the notification will be disabled. Unless you go to gaming mode and select particular app from which you want a notification while you are playing. When the gaming mode is on, you can disable or enable automatic brightness in these settings also. So another good thing about Chorus OS is charging speed is faster than ever. I tried this ROM in my Redmi Note 7 Pro and Poco F phone. And in both phone, my phone charge faster than it used to before. Again, thanks to Hydra Plus kernel. So this is how it looks when you first time install it. Chorus OS comes with Chorus Launcher. It might look like Pixel Launcher, but there are plenty of features. For example, you can change custom icons. And there is new feature called Double Tap on Screen Support. For example, if I double tap on my home screen, it will show me volume slider. And of course, you can customize that. You can choose any of these options for Double Tap. So apart from being a gaming room, this room also provides plenty of features. Like this awesome lock screen customization you get. You get plenty of claws that you can choose for your lock screen. You can also put this music bar on your lock screen when you're listening to music. You can hide the notch or you can cut the display completely if you just hate your notch. Now everything is not perfect in this room. If you are having a gaming room in your phone, you will definitely lose something. And what is that? That's battery life. So all that amazing performance you get in this room actually cost you your battery life. I'm not saying the battery life is not so good, it's kind of average. I got 5.5 hours of screen on time. But in other rooms like Havoc OS, I got 6.5 or sometimes 7 hours of screen on time. So if you are watching this video and you are Indian, don't forget to subscribe my second channel which is in Hindi. I make different kind of videos over there. I hope you like it and I will see you tomorrow.